Sorry, my cat's going crazy. I'm going like this to prom next year. <laughs> All right, you guys should have your masks, circles in your hands. All right, well, episode 11, we got to practice some emergency skills. The kids had to start taking their tests. We started in the pool. Emergency skills all went really well. The kids were really nailing their, their scuba skills. Air shares, emergency swimming ascents. And they even took their swim test, which I know for Fatima was a big deal. Because I was like so nervous because like, I didn't really expect the test to be like, today. You gotta remember that this girl didn't even know how to swim when she started this program and now here she is taking a 15 minute float test. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's going crazy. I, I don't know, I, I like freaked out, I know I did. And then like, I feel like I looked panicked, but then like, after a while she's like just breathing slowly and out, and I was just like, okay, I got this. And then I did it. The kids had to take a 15 minute float test and was it 15 minutes or was it five? It's a big difference. Anyway, details. But I honestly didn't know how she would do. When she first jumped in the pool and started to float, there was a look of panic in her eyes. And but with Kathy and some additional support, she pulled through and that panic slowly calmed and she pulled herself together and really shined. And passed the tests, all of the kids passed their swim tests, their exams, their written exams. It wasn't, it wasn't even that bad. I don't know why I freaked out. <laughs> so the very next week would be our last time together in the pool before we went off to the Florida Keys and the pressure is actually starting to build. You know, these kids aren't just newbies anymore. They're almost scuba divers and if they don't have their shit together, if they don't know the material, then it's going to show. We were all so impressed with how they did. I especially was amazed at how far they'd come since the very first day. So once that was over and all the jitters had finally uh, fled, Dr. Mara Hart got to come and join us and talk to us about her world in uh, marine science education and conservation. When you think of a marine scientist, when you think of the field of ocean sciences, what, what do you picture for a job? She is a really wonderful woman who's just got so much hope and optimism when it comes to the ocean's future. That's the bad news. That's, that's the bummer of the situation. But the good news is that there is actually a ton of new research happening now. And this is what I mean when I say that right now it's a really exciting time to get into ocean sciences. Yes, there is doom and gloom in today's uh, environment, but hope is not lost. And that is such an important message, especially for future generations fighting to protect it. So there's a lot to draw on that is positive and that is working well and we just have to make sure that we make the time to learn from what's working and think about how we can scale that and how we can replicate that. If there isn't hope, then what is there worth fighting for? But with speakers like Mara, there's so clearly so much hope left in our ocean and in our natural environment. You don't have to be a world-renowned marine biologist to make a difference. You don't even have to go to school for marine science to make a difference. All you have to do is have that passion and that message of hope and have enough knowledge behind you to spread that word in a way that inspires others the same way that Mara and Mickey and Megan and all of these wonderful people that these kids have gotten to know have been able to do for them. A lot of what science needs is creative ideas, but also folks from different disciplines to help implement them. We need engineers and we need technologists and we need folks who can start to think differently. We need the folks who deal with the water treatment plants where all half of this garbage is going in. I mean, because it's not just plastics, we also have problems with all of the chemicals that we use in our homes that get flushed down into the drains. That, those micromolecules get, go right out through into the sea. So, um, this feels short, but I feel like I've covered it all. Um, that was the A Rising Tide 
episode eight. No. That was the Arising Tide episode 11, Behind the Scenes. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And um, this button, this one, this button right here. I got distracted by my nose pointing with the button. These behind the scenes vlogs will make a lot more sense if you've seen the episode itself. So have fun, thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time. Boop.